Hello, everybody. First things first, I'd like to send my condolences to Natasha Cooper on the death of her aunt. I know we don't get along, but I know they were close. And I would never wish the death of a loved one on anyone. So I hope she's able to find some peace in the hour of her loss. Now, I know this is short notice, but I thought I'd throw this out there while it's fresh in mind. As always, please, if you enjoy this video, throw a like on it. If you don't, throw a dislike on it. Maybe I can change your mind by the end. Leave a comment. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Now, it's probably the worst kept secret in the world that I'm a pharmacist. Well, today I was covering a pharmacy that was right at an hour drive away. As luck would have it, I was scheduled until 9 p.m. As the day progressed, it started raining. The rain changed to freezing rain. Right off the bat, as the morning started, one of my pharmacy technicians called in. She said that she didn't want to drive in the rain. She wasn't sick. She just want, didn't want to drive in the rain. That is ridiculous. She left us in quite the pickle. And we struggled the entire day because of it. As luck would have it, when the rain changed over to freezing rain, We then had another technician come in. The one technician I had in the morning left at lunch. All of the front store staff left. The one front store staff person who is scheduled to close called in. I called the pharmacy district manager and asked to close early. Now, as you all might suspect, if you knew the practice of pharmacy, this is a highly, highly frowned upon practice because pharmacies for chain drugstores like to earn money. I know that's quite shocking, as you might suspect. But this was a little before 5 p.m. My pharmacy district manager said, well, how far behind are you? I relayed the pickle we were in with the early technician who had called in because she didn't want to drive in the rain. He was quite flummoxed at 
the prospect that someone would do that. But because we were so behind, he said, well, why don't you all stay? Even though there was no front store staff and anyone could just shoplift right out the door. Why don't you all stay and check back in with me at 6.30? Mind you, the sun goes down and things start really freezing well before that. So I said, all right. Because what can you do? I can't just leave. That's job abandonment. And that can get you fired. So we plugged away with people coming in still and bringing up their purchases because the one technician I had at that point had to stop everything and ring up their sales. Well, 6.30 rolled around. The district manager had said he would call us and didn't. Shocking, I know. So at 6.45, I messaged the district manager and said, we're in the throes of an ice warning. See, I was smart and checked the weather maps before I messaged. I said, could we close now? The district manager finally messaged me back and said, okay, you can close at seven. So I messaged the front store manager who drove up to lock the doors. So here's where the fun starts, people. My drive home on a regular night is an hour. I checked the temperature inside my vehicle. You know, the, the temperature thermometer thing that most vehicles have. It said the temperature was 33 degrees. On a regular night, that would be fine. Oh, but it's not a regular night. On this night, you see, my drive home is through quite the lowlands in Ohio. And it had been raining all day before this. And the water had become quite high on either side of the road. And as I was about two thirds of the way home, two thirds of the way home, I got to a road closure. And not just any road closure, a road closure with no detour. The funny thing about where the road closure was is that it was also in an area of no cell phone service. So I hit Google Maps thinking I might get some help to help get me around this. And Google Maps said, who's in the I said, huh. Hmm. So I turned around in someone's driveway and I hit Google Maps again. And it did point me to a road the other direction. 
and I thought it might point me off to a road that would send me home a different direction but no i didn't get that lucky because the road just turned me right back around to the road that i was on and no it didn't send me around the road closure it put me back onto the same road before the road closure so i was pointed right back to it so yeah. At this point, I had been on the road for an hour and a half. And so I decided my best course of action was to possibly go all the way back to work and then point my happy butt all the way over to a city on the border between Ohio and West Virginia and possibly trace all my steps over there because over there, the road doesn't flood. So at that point, Save Robbie was starting a live stream. So I thought, hmm, at least if I do that, I'll message them And then I'll tell them that I'm stuck on the road. That way someone will know that I'm out here. And if someone doesn't see me, someone can at least like alert the authorities at some point. It's like, hmm, maybe someone should go look for him. So I did that. Then, as I was almost back to my place of employment for the day, I saw a road sign for Portsmouth, Ohio. Now, Portsmouth, Ohio would be half the distance because that's the opposite direction. However, that also might take me through more lowlands and I might also have very little cell phone service that direction. But I thought I pre much prefer half the distance. So I thought self, because that's how I dress myself, self, I'm going to take my chances that way. So that's what I did. So I was checking my happy butt along. Do, 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 do. I started hitting high water. I hit a, the sign first, but there was no road closure. So I thought this is better than the other way. Started hitting high water on the road, off on the edges. I got I maneuvered around it, off to the edge, off to the edge. Started being a little over on the sides. A little over the road, I drive a 2004 Dodge Durango. It has quite the fording capabilities. So I was fine. I was fine. I was fine. And then I hit something that was more over the road. And I had always assumed that as long as I could see the yellow lines, I was okay in my Durango. I don't recommend that. Please do not take my advice on that. Do not ford floodwaters. I repeat, do not ford floodwaters. Be safe. Go some other direction. Turn around. I, however, was not able to take that advice because I had forded so many floodwaters and the road was so built up on other, each their side that there was no place for me to turn around. I had no choice but to try to go forward. So that's what I did. And 
I went forward, and all of a sudden, my traction control went. My traction control never goes. And then I realized I was floating. I was floating. My SUV was dog paddling, folks. It's like, well, I better hit the gas or I'm going to go off to the side. So that's what I did. I thought, man, I hope my vehicle doesn't die from all the water that might be up in the engine. But I made it through, finally. I repeat, do not go through floodwaters. If you have any choice at all, do not go through floodwaters. You could very easily die. However, I made it through. And so I kept going and going and going and going through rain that had turned completely to freezing rain at that point. Because I had no choice. And then I made it to Portsmouth, Ohio, finally. And then I turned left and then went to my house. I let everyone know that I had finally made it. Three and a half hours later in a one hour drive in normal conditions. And now I'm here. I repeat, this is my public service announcement. Do not ford floodwaters. I'm going to say it and say it and say it until everyone understands it. Do not do what I did. I was stupid to try it, but I wanted to go home. Now, if you learned something from my little trek, hit the like or the dislike. If you didn't like what I did, hit the dislike. If you learned something, hit the like. If you were entertained and you weren't a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Either way, thank you for watching.